Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. IoT Cloud, what is it? I've been using Home Assistant as a private Internet of Things cloud within the confines of my household. But how can I access dashboards for IoT devices in my home while I am away? This is where third-party IoT services such as Azure, Amazon Web Services, and Arduino IoT Cloud come into play. Even Home Assistant has its own cloud service for $5 a month. But today, I want to try the free version of Arduino IoT Cloud in this video. Let's work through this simple tutorial to get started on Arduino IoT Cloud using the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect. Arduino IoT Cloud provides authentication services, including multi-factor authentication, to make sure you are the person that should be accessing your dashboard. They're also providing other network security considerations that help protect your environment. Here is the Arduino Web Editor. Make sure to watch my previous video on that topic. Here is the IoT dashboard, where we will create our first thing. First, let's hook up our Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect to the USB port on my PC. I went around and around working through this tutorial several times, missing this one key detail. Your device will not run the sketch until you connect via the serial monitor. <laughs> I wish I'd have known that. There were also a few instances of the Arduino Create Agent dropping out as well. But let's do this right this time. First, I'm going to add a device on the Device tab. You can do it from the Add a New Thing tab as well. But like I say, after a few tries and some difficulties, I'm going straight to the Devices tab and adding it here. Of course, you have to install the Arduino Create Agent. I cover this in detail in my previous video, Is Arduino Web Editor Better Than Arduino IDE? So all this takes a moment. You even see Can't Find Agent Warning, but the agent's running. Finally, the Nano board is detected. I kept naming the board Connect, but I think it was jinxing me, so let's use Kristen as the name for this board. This process can take a few minutes. Okay, the board is connected. You can also update the Nina firmware on your Nano Connect here. If you see warnings saying you need to format your disk before using it, you can ignore these. Now, we go to the Thing tab and create a new thing. Let's associate the Kristen device with our new thing. The Setting Up Nano RP2040 Connect with Arduino IoT Cloud tutorial instructs us to create variables for X, Y, and Z for the accelerometer, and variables red, green, and blue for the LED. But the free version of Arduino IoT Cloud limits us to five variables. So I'm opting to skip the blue variable because the accelerometer requires all three variables. So I'm going to stay within the confines of the free level within this video. So we're creating variable A underscore X as a floating point read-only variable. Let's create A underscore Y as a floating point read-only variable. And A underscore Z as a floating point read-only variable. These are the variables for our accelerometer. Now let's create a red variable as a Boolean read-write variable. Remember, we're switching the red LED on and off from the dashboard. Same thing for the green variable. It's a Boolean read-write variable. Okay, we have all the variables for our thing entered. We need to configure the network, the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Now we're going to copy and paste the sketch from this tutorial into the sketch tab. Select all and copy. Select all and paste. We need to touch up the sketch because remember we skipped the blue variable, so I'm going to comment 
out the items related to the blue LED in the sketch. Now it's time to verify and upload the sketch. Here we go. The sketch is uploading. Now it's completed. And again, you can ignore the format disk prompts. We don't want to disrupt the file system that we just installed on the Nano Connect. Next, we need to connect to the Nano Connect with the serial monitor. This is so our Arduino Cloud sketch we just uploaded will proceed. In the serial monitor, we can see the Nano Connect is connected to the local Wi Fi network we configured, and now to the Arduino ILT Cloud. Now the fun begins. We can create a dashboard with our thing, a device, its variables, and associated sketch by going to the Dashboard tab. Click on Add. We select the thing we just created. Now create all the widgets that represent the thing we just created. Let's click on the Arrange icon so we can make sense of these widgets. The X, Y, and Z variables from the accelerometer on the Nano Connect are float, so they need to be bigger on the grid so we can see the number of decimal places in the output. It takes a bit of finagling in this interface, so let's watch it play out. We move the red and green Boolean switches down to the next row. There we go. The green LED seems to be on by default on the Nano Connect when running this sketch. So let's turn the green LED on, then off. Green on, off, on, off, on, off. Now the red LED. On, off, on, off, on. Let's switch the green LED on while the red LED is lit, and you get this bleh colored LED. Now let's check the output of the accelerometer on the Nano Connect on the X, Y, and Z axis. This is all well and good, but I know what you're thinking. Shotoku Tech, it's not very cool that I have to keep my Nano Connect plugged into my PC's USB port to make this work. Let's check this out. Here in the IoT Cloud console, you see Kristen, my Nano Connect is offline, but it is powered on and connected to my PC. When I open the serial monitor, we see the confirmation that it's now connected. So we're going to comment out this line that's waiting for the serial monitor to connect before running the rest of the sketch. Let's verify and upload the sketch again with this line commented out. Now, I can unplug Kristen from my PC and hook her up to this jump battery. Now you can see we don't need to have your Nano Connect plugged into your PC for it to connect to the Arduino IoT Cloud. Kristen is free to roam around untethered, turning the green and red LED on and off, and reading the accelerometer. So let's recap. In the Arduino IoT Cloud, a thing consists of an associated device, variables, Wi-Fi network settings, a sketch, and we can interact with this thing in a dashboard. What else do you want to see on the Nano RP2040 Connect with Arduino IoT Cloud? Should I do something with Amazon Web Services or Azure? Hey, leave a comment down below. And before you go on to watch one of these other videos, Please check in the links in the description down below. Like and comment on this video. Also, please click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thank you very much.